guys hope you're all doing well and having a great day welcome back to a new video here on this channel if you're new around here hi my name is Corey Crawford a photographer and digital artist based out of Sydney Australia now it's been about I think about a year since I filmed my last building my dream photography slash studio setup since then a lot has changed and a lot has been achieved since that video so firstly i just want to give you a quick little update on me and my business if you've been around this channel and seen me before you've probably noticed that i've gotten braces which yeah it's all right secondly i have finally jumped full-time freelancing with my photography business and it is going extremely well and i'm extremely fortunate enough to be in this position and to have my own studio Thirdly, everything that I talk about in this video will be linked below, so be sure to check that out. Without further ado, let's jump in to this studio tour. As soon as you walk in, you are greeted with my desk setup. I am so, so pumped on how that has turned out. As you can see from the decor and the colors that I've gone with, I've really loved this walnut. And I've also got some really cool industrial pipe shelving, which I think is really cool that clock doesn't work at all it's one of my prints um as a clock which i think is pretty pretty cool um up there i've got a bunch of old cameras and um i'm really vibe that one i think that one's really cool but um you know half of those don't even work they just look really cool um so i have them on display so this desk here is from bunnings i believe um i think it's around a hundred dollars it is around 750 millimeters uh, wide by two meters in length which is perfect size because i've got as you can see behind there i've got my custom built pc which i'll get to later which um i can have on display as well i've got always a a journal i highly recommend these especially when i've got projects on i can write down uh storyboard shot list um dates everything that i need is in that journal which keeps me on track here we've got a really cool i think really cool anyways um rope light i got this from bunnings for 30 dollars. you can add in your phillips hue as well so you can change uh colors um, but I don't have that. I just think that looks really cool. And like what I said, it, it is industrial. It vibes with my whole setup and theme. On top, I've got a felt desk mat, which I have gotten off Amazon. I only just recently got this, but they didn't package it um, as well. But it's kind of bubbled up when it comes through shipment, but that will eventually flatten out, I hope. But I think that's a really nice addition and it just separates your peripherals along with the desk um, i've got my iphone 6 plus uh, glasses this is a razor keyboard i've had this for years i used to use it for gaming but i don't game anymore and that's a really nice mechanical keyboard um, which i'll link down below for the mouse i'm using the mx master 3 you literally can't get an any better mouse in my opinion than the mx master 3 as for the chair, I've gone for the IKEA, I forgot what it's called, I'll link it below in the felt material as well. I know you can get a leather and a, I believe a brown felt, I'm not 100% sure, but I went with the grey felt because I think the aesthetics really matches my desk setup. In this corner here, I've got a Nanlite Pavo tube, 30C I believe, I've got two of them, one there and one over there, which I'll get to later. Um, just below that, I've got a custom built PC. If you are a PC nerd, I'll add all the specs in below um, for you to check out, but it is super powerful, super expensive, but does the job. I've got some fake plants. Real plants won't survive in here, except for that one. That one's a real plant and that one's vibing. So I've got two of them, one here and one over there. The monitor. The monitor is a BenQ SW324, I believe. Um, top of the range monitor. I made sure that I didn't 
spare and expense when it came to monitors because that's where most of my accurate colors need to come from and that monitor does the trick perfectly so like what i said i'll link that below that is a top of the range monitor if you've got some coin to spend above that i've got the quintus sparlight that helps with eye strain when you are sitting at the computer for long hours that was from amazon for i believe 25 dollars um and that is a perfect addition and it also lights up the peripherals perfect so that is a great addition behind that you don't want to see it but I've got LED strips just lighting up that back wall, which is remote controlled uh, RGB, so I can change it any color that I want. As for the sound, uh, these are just hand-me-down speakers, Logitech. Um, I mean, they're not the best, but they do the job. As you can see, my cable management isn't the best. That big power cord to the monitor, I really want to hide that somehow, but I tried my best to keep it as clean. I don't want you to look at that. That is just, no, don't even look at that. To the right, we've got a brand new addition to the studio, which is a Peter McKinnon limited edition print, which I am super pumped on. It is edition 57 out of 250. This is called Morning Fog, and I'm pumped on that. That is super dope. I'm happy to have that in my studio. To the right, we've got an air conditioner because it gets hot as heck in here ugly ass cable going along there we've got one of my prints from canada and then to the right we've got a bookshelf with a bunch of personal things um what i love and um pretty much just like a storage personal vibe and sort of bookshelf as you can see i've got some hanging lights here um which i've just added the globe and i think that was around five dollars as well from amazon above we've got a print obviously 4k monitor andy cine i've got a 90 millimeter macro sony 50 millimeter 1.8 sony and i just picked this up yesterday a 35 millimeter sigma 1.4 lens and i'm loving how the bokeh looks on that and having a 1.4 lens i've got a couple of things here i've got a pro mist here with some step up rings and a peter mckinnon variable nd and whatnot below i've got that with a couple of bits and pieces in there like tools hard drives uh lens caps that sort of stuff i've got a trophy from case filters super pumped on that again in that left corner i've got some old vintage style stuff that i don't really use it's just on display this is kind of like a timber shelf which i bought from uh amazon i believe and this bookshelf is great and i'm pretty sure it only cost me 120 dollars australian so i think that's really cool there, under here i've got another print and i've got a couple of storage thing with cables and whatnot in there so just boring stuff in there but yeah that's the corner of my studio and that's where i do most of my work and to the left of that is my go-to storage cabinet drawer system where i've got all of my bits and pieces that i use for my photo shoots up the top i've got all of my watches that i need to do photos for and below in the first drawer is triggers a, another flash trigger remote you know these are all my bits and pieces that i need every single shoot and it's just handy to open up that top drawer and know what i need below that i've got all of these tools slash bits and pieces <laughs> that i need for shoots as well i mean there's nothing too exciting about here but it's just good to have storage and bits and pieces at hand ready to go to the left i've got a that real plant which is actually really good and then to the left of that i've got kind of like my photo shoot backdrops plus accessories on top got all of my modifiers along the back i've also got that nan light pavo tube which i was speaking about earlier and i was thinking maybe here i think i'm going to put kind of like a charging station above there so i don't have to have all of these cables and wires on display which i think looks pretty ugly so i'm thinking about adding a yeah a charging station there and possibly to the side here because it's quite a large free space i think i might put 
a pegboard there and have all of my light stands and bits and pieces on there ready to go. To the left, I've got all of my flashes um, and light stands and tripods and whatnot. Flashes, I've got the Profoto D1, so I've got two of them and I've got a Godox AD300 Pro, as you can see there. Behind there, we've got some diffusion sheets um, and over there is just storage for packaging and whatnot um, just when I need to send watches back. Smack bang in the center is the shooting station area where all of the photos go down for my product shoots. Just behind there, we've got some diffusion, which is great um, to get that soft light. For my continuous light, I've got the Godox SL60W attached with a softbox, which I think is great. And you can pick that light up for about $100. The table that I shoot all of my products on and add backdrops and whatnot was $100 from a local furniture store. And I mean, there's nothing really else you can say about a table. <laughs> so there it is. There is my 2022 studio setup. I hope you guys did stick around to the end of this video. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. With all that said and done, thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.